Welcome back to the details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi performed the weekly Friday prayers at Field Marshal Hussein Tantawi's mosque in Cairo's fifth settlement. The prayer sermon focused on the virtues of martyrdom and the status of martyrs as Egypt recently marked the Martyrs' Day, which falls on March 9th in the memory of the martyrdom of Major General Abdel Manam Riyadh in the battlefield. The preacher hailed the martyrs' valuable sacrifices for protecting the nation and setting it on the course of development. Performing the prayers alongside the President, uh, the uh, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of Defense and Military Production, the General Commander of the Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki, top military brass and senior statespersons. Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Engineer Tariq Al Mullah, said that President Abdel Fattah al Sisi affirmed that Egypt pays a maximum attention to the African continent's vision regarding the fair energy transition during the upcoming UN Climate Change Conference that will be hosted by Egypt late in November in the Rissi Resort of Sharm el Sheikh. The minister stressed the significance of providing necessary funding resources for the African countries to assist them in facing the climate change. He added that African nations have all the right to use their natural gas and oil resources sources as part of their fair energy transition, enabling them to continue with their efforts for achieving sustainable development. El Mullah's remarks came as he participated in the African Energy and Economy Forum that was held during Sarah Week International Energy Conference in the U.S. city of Houston with the attendance of ministers of energy and petroleum for 11 African countries, chiefs of petroleum and energy giants, as well as officials from African and international funding institutions. Minister of Finance Dr. Mohamed Maid stressed that Egypt is going forward on its structural reforms, which part of the economic reform program. During a meeting with an official delegation from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, the EBRD, Maid expressed that Egypt is capable of handling the repercussions of the international economy turbulences and already succeeded in containing the coronavirus pandemic fallout. In this regard, he referred to Egypt's recording of the highest biannual growth rate since the beginning of the millennium, warning of the current international risks on the economies of developing countries. The minister highlighted that some $400 billion have been spent over the past seven years in the development of the country's infrastructure in order to create an investment luring atmosphere. Egypt's stock market indices retreated during last week's sessions, losing 34 billion pounds. The market's capital for companies listed in the bourse reached 681.4 billion pounds, losing 4.7 percent. The bourse's weekly report showed that the benchmark Egypt 30 index lost 0.36 percent to reach 10,453 points, while the medium cap Egypt 70 declined by 1.03 percent to reach 1,867 points, and the broader Egypt 100 lost 2.32% to reach 2,815 points.